This is Twit. Let's talk about earnings, uh, Paul. As we wait, when Richard gets back, we'll do the uh, AI segment. Yeah. So at for now, four o'clock at uh, Eastern yeah. when the markets close, which is yeah, about an hour and fifteen. Long. So yeah. I would say before the end of the show, we should have at least a quick peek at that, and then next week some more. But um, I any thoughts? Yeah. Right now, I mean, their stock is down 068 so percent. Right. Not so that's part of the whole deep seek uh, yeah, story. There's the right. impact that it's had on stock prices. And, and I learned something actually as part of that. So I'm looking forward to talking about that. But I, their earnings are going to be gangbusters, right? Um, but now there's going to be new scrutiny on the amount they're spending on AI infrastructure. And I might argue it's a little overdue. You know, this is a company that's been spending 20 ish billion dollars every quarter just building the infrastructure. Um, which is, you know, again, a big part of that uh, coming conversation about deep seek. But I well, think- what, when we get to this, I'll, I'll mention this. But uh, yeah. there, there is something to be. I think there is, you know, certainly Nvidia is, is tumbling because of. This. Yeah. But I think there's something to be said for the fact that this is good news because uh, less expensive AI means more AI in more places, and in all likelihood, uh, <laughs> more use. Uh, right. which means it's actually, I mean, if, well, I'm not, I don't, I'm not allowed to, I don't allow myself to invest in uh, tech yeah. stocks, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, and I'm not giving anybody advice, mm-hmm. but if I were, I think this would be time to buy, 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 not sell, sell, sell. I think this is short sighted on the markets. Uh, well, I, it's, it's the early days. Um, I, I, this is part of the whole conversation, you know, Steven Snaps get a really, interesting thing on Twitter X or whatever about how this is how disruption happens. This was always going to happen. I, no one thought it was going to be the Chinese per se, but um, the whole business model of big tech is spend an incredible amount of money that no other companies can spend to build out an infrastructure that no other companies could build out to maintain your dominance and continue into this new market. And uh, in, to my simple kind of ape brain, what that is saying is, when you're a hammer, everything's a nail, right? And so no one at Microsoft was like, hey, how could we do this a lot cheaper? <laughs> you know, I mean, they were like, this is their competitive advantage. They were going full bore. Um, so maybe this causes a little bit of a reset. Um, but it always, not always, but uh, many times usually um, takes a company from outside of that industry to disrupt it. You know, yeah. like Apple with the iPhone, uh, yeah. Netscape. Whatever, Not necessarily but, a bad thing is all I'm saying. Do you, well, yeah. you, obviously he's going to, as such a, and the CFO will be asked about this in the analyst mm-hmm. call. Do you think they'll be cagey or, or no, well, I, yeah, that's a good question. So I, um, again, I, we're, we're going to talk through half of this deep sleek thing now, cause it's hard not to, but, um, let me, let me just tell you the part of the story. I didn't, on, uh, the thing I learned in this, because I cover all these earnings, but I'm not like a stock or money guy. Like I don't really understand these things. And um, I, it was interesting to me, like the more on Monday morning, all the big story was like how at the end of uh, business on Friday, all, all the big tech AI companies, like the stock had all nosedived. So when I looked at that on Monday morning, I went through, you know, three or four of the companies like uh, Google, Microsoft, uh, well, OpenAI is not a public company, but whatever, like uh, whatever they were, and oh, Nvidia, and except for Nvidia, the stock price drop for each was single digits, five, six percent, whatever. It wasn't that bad? Oh, goodies here, so we can just go right into it. <laughs> so, yeah. um, but Nvidia was eleven percent. I'm going to say something like that, and I thought, you know what? This company is worth whatever the number is, quadrillion dollars. This they could weather this kind of a hit easily. Not a big deal. So I wrote my, I wrote whatever I wrote and then the day happened and, you know, I'm reading and researching throughout the day. And at the end of the day, there was a story somewhere where they were trying to explain that this historic stock market event that occurred that day. And I'm like, okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Cause when I looked at this, it was like 6%, 11% at the most. I'm like, what are they talking about? So the history that was made Monday was that NVIDIA, which has it, at the time was one of the top three companies by market cap, right? Uh, their stock price dropped by, let's say it was 11% because it, it is when I looked at it, but whatever it was for the day, it was 11%. Because of the overall value of their stock, it was the single biggest drop in value in a single stock in one day in the history of money. That It's never been that. In fact, 
by an order, well, not an order, it, by a factor of two. The, the second biggest drop by total value is less than half of what NVIDIA lost that day. But so this that's has more actually, to do with the value of NVIDIA than it yeah, does the significance that's right. of yep. the drop. So um, we haven't really talked about deep seek yet, Richard, but I, we were kind of talk, walking into it sideways. But the, uh, uh, but the <laughs> Which is, by the way, the best way to walk in. Yeah. Is definitely <laughs> um, <coming inside laughs> hopefully with a blindfold on. Um, so yeah, like Satya Nadella, Sam Altman, and uh, NVIDIA all released statements of some sort or talked about this to some degree. And, and, and all of them were in their own way telling. But the NVIDIA one, which I thought was very interesting, was they basically came out and said, look, we just want to remind everybody that uh, all of these reasoning... Uh, services these lms require nvidia gpus and uh these guys use nvidia gpus yes they were prior gen whatever stuff they could get from before they were the, the h100s which are S, yeah. which are allowed in the uh, in china yep. uh, uh around the chip block but they did something very clever with them yes and uh they wrote in fact their own low level code to allow mm -hmm. the inter uh, uh process uh, architecture yeah, so, to be speedy so they're very smart they just were smart but you know there's something in a, well driven by necessity right the, and yeah. that's how this stuff happens it's, that's what's great. It's I love it. Park. Life will find a way. Like yeah. when, when you are met with restrictions, whether they're artificial, like um, the export restrictions we have in the United States are just natural, whatever it is. Or, or you're a small company. Or syllabic count of a haiku or a sonnet. Yeah. It makes me more creative. <laughs> That's right. No, but it does, right? It does. That's where the innovation yeah. is going to come from. It's not going to yeah. come from a company that's protecting its business model, right? This is why... Google didn't release some of this stuff years ago, even though they could have, because they looked at the Detective. impact it would have on search. Yeah. And they're like, we can't do that, even it's though it would good. have been kind of a- I also wonder, nice. you know, they're master espionage folks too. Mm -hmm. So what well, don't what, we know? It, wait, about, and this is really important to point out is mm -hmm. you can't just take this, the, the oh, you, in the event you deep seek assertions as on face value. Oh, it only costs us $6 million. Yeah, I think that's sorry, $6 billion. Uh, well, okay, but true, in, in a obviously. in a Robin Hood sense, I, I don't. Rem maybe one of you guys will remember this. Uh, this is a month or two ago, and it's it's a little overly simplistic. But someone somewhere had said, "Here's an idea. These oh these AI companies are all stealing content from everyone. If you can prove that they've stolen content to feed their engines, and now they're making billions and billions of dollars on this, this is open source them. You know, let's put that back in the public domain and, and have it benefit everyone. And there's a a naive kind of uh, part of me that's like, yeah, that actually sounds like a pretty good idea. Um, and so did the Chinese just do this? Maybe, <laughs> you know, yeah. maybe, but we certainly don't I know mean, the truth. No. So I, I think we, we also need to be clear about mm -hmm. definitions because it's really open source, which is a phrase Meta started using is not an accurate uh, description of this. In fact, Anna, okay. the open source initiative says it's not open source. That means you could look at the source code. The training, there's right. two ways you can you can be more open about what you're doing. What did, what did you train on? Mm -hmm. uh, which no <laughs> nobody at this point well, but, uh, is admitting. Okay, but <laughs> neither is open AI. No, so, very or, much I mean, not. In fact, so they were I'm, started I'm, with the notion that they were, and they quickly decided, no, we're not mm -hmm. going to tell anybody how we did this. And then there's the second part of it, the tuning, uh, which uh, the weights, and that is really what it should be open weight, not open source. I think open okay. weight means you're saying, here's what our weights are. And DeepSeek mm -hmm. is open weights. Meta is open weights. Right. Open AI is not open weights. Okay. Um, there's, you know, Microsoft complained as did open AI. Oh, that it's really? pretty clear. As I said Deep to Brad Seek this morning, let me get this straight. You, on you stole a TV. <laughs> got home and someone stole it from you. Yes. And then you went to the cops and said, you will not believe the injustice here. They used a process that's pretty clear called distillation, where yeah. you train your AI by interacting with somebody else's AI, asking it questions, looking at the answers. And you could do that at a very rapid pace with AIs, obviously much more rapid than you could. Which is what's how the original GPTs were made anyway, where they still right. had people reviewing the answers exactly. and ranking them to build up a better training. It's perfectly fine. That's what is normally done with an AI is, and that's the tuning. Uh, in fact, I have a friend who, whose company does this uh, and you tune it for the task. It's gonna, if it's coding or if it's generating protein folding, you tune it for that task mm -hmm. and you could do it in a manual fashion often you do but you can now also do it uh, in a mechanical fashion with distillation i think this is it's fair game as far as i think I'm it's, concerned. it's fascinating yeah um, but and, you and know we, what this we is also what you want know. which is everybody learning from everybody else getting better and better right well it's what 
we want. <laughs> right. Not, I mean, uh, not what these closed source companies I mean, you, want. Right? You do have to debate what was the motivation to release this thing because they don't care about the income from it. Right. 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 This, this is not a money making. Well, it's destabilizing. Problem. It got They got what they wanted. I, my I, if position, that's what they wanted. My position is destabilizing only in the short term. There's a. Um, there's something in economics called Javon's paradox effect. Let me uh, let me uh, pull it up here so I don't misquote uh, it. This is the Wikipedia article, it, and it says when technological resources, technological advances, make a resource more efficient to use, thereby reducing the amount needed for a single application. Exactly what's happened here. Hmm. However, as the cost of using the resource drops, overall demand increases. Cost causing total resource consumption to rise. Yeah. Jevin noticed this in 1865 wow. with coal efficiency. <laughs> yeah, right. The increased efficiency of coal led to the increased consumption of coal in a wide range of industries. I submit that's exactly what's going to happen here, which is why well, I'm it's bullish. The same thing that happened with oil, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we yeah. continue to consume more and more oil. We use it dramatically more efficiently than we do. And we know this in California because our, okay, it's pretty funny sad but funny our uh, california uh, utility hmm. uh says well we have to raise rates because you guys are too efficient <laughs> right we're not making enough money we're not, it makes what, are you do, what are you doing like putting <laughs> energy back into the grid what is wrong with you they got mad they said you yeah. guys have cut down your consumption so they've had six rate increases in 2024 trying to make up what? for reduced consumption you know, there's um, a growing body of evidence to suggest that California might not be the greatest place to live. Um, <laughs> I love it here, and I'm not moving. All right, just unless it's there. to Mexico City or Oslo <laughs> there you go. or London. London. We, I live London. in a place where they back over plastic Oslo, to crush it down it. with a uh, with a garbage truck. I'm sure that's <laughs> super efficient. Anyway, um, I I think. It maybe is a short-term market destabilizer. Clearly, it is because all these it was only a day. Tanking. You know, I'm already right. talking to people who quote unquote bought the dip. I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah. honestly, and again, I, I said this before you came back, but I don't yeah. invest in these stocks, uh, and you should never take stock advice from me. Mm. But I would buy Nvidia right now because mm. it's a it's a bargain. Yeah, right. relatively speaking, yeah, <sighs> yeah it's, it's already on its it's already recovering. So yeah, yeah it's uh, so yeah. this all comes out of the discussion about tonight. Uh, Microsoft's going to release its annual or yeah. quarterly report, rather. Oh, good, because then we'll know what to talk about next week. I, I have to tell it you, will be like, it's a preview update earnings, for the next learnings. week's show. <laughs> yeah. you, you know that that FBI like break into the room meme where they all storm. You know, this is the biggest yeah. match FBI. I just had that happen to me at the convention center. What those guys were clearly on to me. <laughs> <laughs> they, you, are you, sir? Are you doing a podcast? Well, literally, you must clear the meeting building immediately. Immediately, you can't. You, you, can't, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> can't stay here. So, wow! All right. Wow. And right. they sure, well, and the internet is off. So and by the way, it's a better connection here in your hotel. I think you're so. totally right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can. I don't have as much room. I didn't have time to tune the rig, but hey, at least we got the audio. So. Oh, yeah, and and Paul was, you should know, did not want to do the deep seek segment. There was a lot of um, presence, water treading while you were gone, but. <laughs> I think, you, I think you can make your way through Windows there, friend. Pretty sure. So, well, I, have, okay. you, have either of you used DeepSeek yet? Yeah. No. Oh, I, I have. have. Very I'm, impressive. I'm actually really impressed with it. So yeah. I've used it mostly for some of that programming stuff because it's something I can kind of compare fairly easily. And um, it does a fantastic job with that. And I think the presentation is better too, if that means anything. Um, I love, and, and this is, oh, one does this too, but I love watching the thing reason. Yeah. Yeah, or Isn't appear cool? to reason. Yeah, like. Well, it seems to be talking to its, yeah. <laughs> itself. I asked it, for instance. I wanted uh, to. Uh, they, I'm sorry to interrupt. They should train it just on. Um, I almost said Substack, not Substack. Um, what's that uh, Stack Overflow? So yeah. every time you ask it a question, it would just respond with, "I, I don't know why you want to do that. <sighs> why would you ever?" Want to <laughs> it's like, could you? Do you have the answer? Because if you don't, shut up. So I asked like, it, how do <laughs> you quantum know. computers work? It thought yeah. for 43 seconds. But instead of letting you sit there looking at a blank screen, it, it shows you the process as it's thinking. Yes. So it starts, okay, so I need to explain how quantum computers work. Hmm, where do I start? By the way, it's English is excellent. I remember from my classes that regular computers use bits, which are zeros and ones. Quantum computers use something called qubits instead. But what's a qubit exactly? Wait. 
I think qubits can be both one and zero at the same. Anyway, it asks. It's a. It's a, almost a Socratic dialogue with itself. Right. That it develops the answer, and then at the end, it gives me what I thought was a really good answer. Maybe so this I, is the related. He's supposed to down a quart of uh, hemlock. But okay. <laughs> it's like it's like um, in the old days where you had to keep someone on the line so you could trace the call. Yeah, it's, just, it's keeping you like mm. connected so I it could can find out. A you know. spinning ball, but instead. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.